أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء وإمام المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I welcome you all again to our Tajweed class which is uh, usually short um, in today's class, we have a problem that says choose the verse that has no idigam birunna, meaning all the following verses uh, given from option A to option D. If you read, you will find out that it has tajweed rule uh, that is um, uh, on idigam birunna. Okay. Idiram birunna is when you assimilate the silent noon into the next letter. And not just all letters. The letters are, collect, are collected in this saying. Yenmu. You see that? Yenmu meaning if I have noon and the noon is uh, uh, has sukun, or maybe I have tanwin, meaning I have double uh, fatha or I have double kasra, or I have double dhamma, and then it is followed by later ya, or it is, meaning this noon usakin is followed by later ya, or is followed, this noon usakin is followed by uh, uh, noon, or noon usakin is followed by uh, mim, or noon usakin is follows, uh, followed by later wow, or it is this uh, double fatha, uh, a letter with double fatha is followed by um, ya or noon or mim or wow, or it is this one or this one that is followed by one of these uh, four letters. Then, then we call that idiram birunna, meaning we will assimilate the noon into the letter and then we nasalize we do runna for two harakat and uh, uh, and we proceed with our recitation okay let's see that uh which one has no idigan biguna let's check this one whether it has idigan biguna okay this bar with double uh, uh you see that we have a letter that has double dhamma you see that and then immediately after this you have later ya and later ya is one of the letters of idram birunna so it means you will say you you will not artic articulate the noon this bar with double dhamma is actually like this it's actually bar with dhamma one dhamma and the noon with sukun boon then uh, you will not say ulu bun yawma no 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 ulu bun bun the noon should not be heard it should be assimilated into the ya so it means this one has a diram birunna can you see that not only that this double uh, uh double um uh, vowel here for letter the is actually it means this it means then can you see then this is uh, how it is written but it's actually this then so you you have known that is uh sucking and then it is followed by wow and wow is one of the letters can you see it here okay when you have known that is sucking and then it is followed by wow then this should be idram birunna so this one has idram birunna and we are not choosing it because it's, it says we should take the one that has no idigam birunna. Okay, it's here. Inama anta munziru manyakshaha. Okay, here, here. Um, okay, let me start from here. I have noon here and it is a psyching. Uh, uh, can you see that? But the letter that comes... Uh, after it is ta, okay, and ta is not one of the idigam letters, so I'm not taking this, okay. I have known here it is sakin, it, uh, okay, but the letter 
uh, that comes after it is the letter the and the is not one of the idigam letters it is not ya it is not nun it is not mim it is not wa so i'm not considering this i have noon here again and it is uh, sakin with sukun here and the letter that comes after it is ya ya is it? oh ya is one of the idigam letters you see that ya noon mim wa so this one i am not taking it it has idigam biguna see that it has idigam biguna i'm not taking it then see wajalna sirajan wa haja okay remember not only noon uh not only apparent noon that is uh, that has sukun but if we have uh, a double vowel whether uh, fathatan or kasratan or dhammatan on a letter and the letter is followed by one of these four letters then it is idgham biguna on this note I want us to look at this jim that has this double fatha and after it we have wow we are we, we are not considering this alif okay the reason is that it is not articulated it's not pronounced tajweed is about articulation a letter that is not pronounced we ignore it okay so this means this uh, this one that this double fatha uh it means you have jim with a single fatha and then you have noon with sukun jan you see the noon with sukun appears and immediately after it you have wow and this wow is one of the idgham letters so again this one has idgham biguna i will say sirajan i will not say sirajan if I say jan, the noon is hard, it, it means it is not assimilated into the wow. Okay, um, I'm trying to be short here, okay, to make it short here. So this one, we will not, we will not take it because it has a dhram biruna. Okay, let's check this. Ka'annahum yawma yarawnaha lam yalbathu illa ashiyyatan aw duhaha We don't have idgham here. Look at, we have a tanwin here, of course. But this tanwin is immediately followed by Hamza. And this Hamza is one of the izhar later. So what you have uh, here is uh, izhar is uh, sorry is izhar and not idgham can you see that because hamza is not one of the idgham biguna letters i hope this is clear to you so this one should be our answer d because it has no idgham biguna <clears throat> i hope this is clear to you may allah grant us understanding assalamu alaikum warahmatullah